people land in Kaza or New Brunswick leave everything they have behind. Sometimes they sell everything they worked for in their life and they come with aspirations, they come with, you know, hopes, they come with that energy. And after like uh, maybe a few months, things are not going properly. You see that um, that hope begins to fade away. Because I've been there before. And I, I see how some of these families, how they struggle a lot. Some of these landlords don't even want to rent to newcomers. As soon as they hear newcomers with, oh, how many children do you have? They expect them to have like one or two. As soon as they say, no, I have three kids, they just silently just turn them down. So these are some of the things that, that motivates me and want to take on these established organizations. I, you know, like to be the bridge, to go after them, to speak to them, to help them understand better what the immigrants are going through. And, you know, that kind of bringing, um, you know, a, a bit of balance. There's nothing good that doesn't come with its own challenges. You get a no for answer. People turn you down. Um, language barrier, trying to help people. So there's, there's, there's a whole lot of challenges. I've always believed in myself. I've always believed in what I um, doing what is right. So uh, putting this together has always kept me going. I believe, you know, anything you set out to do, you can always succeed at it, given the right support and also not backing down. One of the essence of life is to give back, is to make positive change, positive impact in people's lives. I tell you that uh, people come here with, with a lot of anxiety, with a lot of uh, questions, a lot of fear. Where do I start from? How do I go about it? And you could see the happiness, the joy, the excitement on their faces when we go to the airport to meet them and to, to tell them that, look, welcome home. You're not, you're not here on your own. We're here to support you. We're here to guide you through the journey to just be that, um, that backbone for you while um, you settle into, into your, your new home. I'd like to see more acceptance of um, you know, newcomers in society. I'd like to see um, the community live together as one. I'd like to see the prosperity of newcomers. And I'd also like to see um, policy makers make intentional effort to address all the concerns of newcomers. My name is Adebayo Gulaya, originally from Nigeria. I am a black change maker.